In Painter Essentials, you can buy brush packs that give you additional brushes to use, photo painting, creating your own artwork, uh, whatever you might like. One of the newer ones is the Sketch Essentials Pack, and it comes with 10 brushes, crosshatch, diffuse pen, draw dirty, flexi tip, mech pen, random line, rough blend, smooth line, soft stipple, and spotty ink. In the short video here, just going to show what these brushes do, and then you will be able to use them limited only by your imagination. So here we're looking at crosshatch, and this brush is specifically designed to be able to let you create a crosshatched effect. Now, of course, it wouldn't have to be exactly at 90 degree angles, but we've all had to crosshatch something at one time or another. This is a good brush to do it. The slower you draw the stroke, the closer the crosshatch lines will be. The quicker you draw the stroke, there'll be some spacing between them. So it's really up to you. Draw slow or fast and get crosshatching in your drawing or sketch. The next drawing pen is this diffuse pen. Great pen to use. You draw with it, looks pretty average. And then when you lift up, you can see the edges along it diffuse a little bit. Now this pen stays wet as you draw, so you overlap and you can see the edges, they will kind of blend into the surrounding strokes. And in this case, if you're painting white, it's just picking up and blending some of the strokes. So in the smaller sizes, scale the pen down, it's a pretty nice pen to draw with. You can see it's almost like drawing with ink on watercolor paper that's slightly damp. You can make all sorts of strokes in whatever direction you want. Great pen to use when you feel like ragged or random kind of stroke in what you're drawing. So give Diffuse Pen a try. I think you'll like it. The next pen is Draw Dirty. And this is really a dirty pen. So it would be like maybe a leaky metal pen or possibly even felt tip pen that's starting to run dry. You can scale it up to whatever size you want. And you can see it kind of sprays and splatters and it does some crazy things randomly into the background texture. So if you want to draw something that looks kind of dirty, this might be the pen just for you. I tend to like these pens that are a little more organic than some of the cleaner, more elegant ones. Great for drawing things that uh, you don't want to be as nice or refined. So give Draw Dirty a try. I think you will like it. The next pen is a flexi tip pen. And this is like a metal pen in that as you draw with it, you can see adding pressure, turning. You, it's like you press down and the tips of the pen spread. And you get this kind of nice, refined, but very elegant, smooth line. This is a good pen for elegant type work or very clean pen and ink work. You can, of course, cross hash with it. You can use it any way you would really use a real pen, except you're not limited to using inks that mix with each other. So you can change colors, change values, and uh, the possibilities are really kind of unlimited. So that is Flexi Tip. Canical pen is much the same, but a little bit of texture to it. You can see it's a very smooth, elegant, nice line. There's no lag to it. You can draw as fast as you want. It'll fray out at the end a little bit, picking up some texture, making the particles spread a little bit. Or you can draw slow and just draw very nice controlled shapes. It's, it's really up to you what you want to do. But it is a nice pen to draw with. All these pens are nice to draw with, all these sketching tools. 
So try that mechanical pen, the mech pen, and see if you like it. Random line. This is one of my favorite because as you can see, it's drawing more than one line, but they kind of revolve and move around each other. So they become very random in their appearance. This is a great brush for doing organic things. Anything where you want a little rough, great for drawing things like fields of grass or, you know, little flowers or anything that uh, you don't want to be super controlled with. This is a good, good drawing tool. And it doesn't mean you're out of control. It just means the pen itself is going to add a little randomness to your stroke. This may be my favorite pen in the whole group. So give it a try. The next pen is Rough Blend. And this is a brush that adds some speckle. But these speckle, uh, little speckles are actually blending with the underneath color. So let me grab a few random lines here and paint over them. And now you'll be able to see a little better with Rough Blend what it does. Picks up that color and spreads it around. You can also add, uh, have it work with light colors and color colors. So Rough Blend, it very roughly blends whatever's underneath it together. A great pen for doing rocky surfaces, things like that. This would be probably more a pen that you would use after you get some line work done to blend a few things together. But it's a good, it's a good brush. Give it a try. The next brush is Smooth Line. And this is just what it says. It is another very nice, smooth, elegant, a little more responsive than Flexi tip, you press and you can see that you can get some really nice kind of spiraling or whatever you want. Nice flaring of the tip. This, you know, I keep saying this may be my favorite pen. Well, they're all really kind of really good pens. So I like them all. Some I would like better than others in a specific instance, but I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch. So that is Smooth Line. The next brush is Soft Stipple. And this just does what it says it does. And that is make some nice stippling. You can use it for shading. The uses for this are just not limited at all. In larger size, speckles become larger. You can work with a variety of colors, overlap, build it up. Stipple pen is really kind of a nice, but different from rough blend. It's kind of a nice, fine shading tool. If you wanted to shade something, you could go around back and forth and build your shading up. So that is soft stipple, great pen. And the last one, and again, you know, this may be my favorite pen, is this spotty ink brush. And so you can see it paints with kind of a watercolory, drippy feel to it. I like it in the smaller sizes here because it does look a little bit like an out of control brush that you're drawing with. An old paintbrush and using ink. Now it doesn't paint toward white, it paints more toward the color building up and eventually it will get to be black so if you start really light colored you still will eventually build the black which frankly is quite a bit more like a lot of natural mediums than just covering a few or pastel you just cover but this is a great little thin drying brush very quick very responsive and it gives an interesting line quality so there are the 10 new brushes in the Sketch Essentials pack that you can get to add to your arsenal of already useful brushes in Painter Essentials. I really do encourage you to get them. Uh, give them a try. I'm sure you will find some favorites in here to use in your artwork.